Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, long time no see. I've got another top five Tuesdays for you this week. It is all about powder blushes. So if you're interested in finding out what my top five all time favorite powder blushes are, then just keep on watching. So we are back with another top five Tuesdays. This is again, a collaboration that I'm doing with the glam doctor Mona Khan. I will leave a link down to her channel and her video of her top five favorite powder blushes for this week. And I just want to mention a few things before I jump into it. I am using a new camera. <laughs> so if uh, my footage looks a little bit different, that is why. I'm hoping this camera works out. It's actually a video camera versus a photo camera that has video capabilities. Slight differences there. I'm hoping it works out. We shall see. Let me know. Let me know if you think it looks bad. Let me know if you think it looks awful in any way. Also, I actually got a laser treatment on my face uh, this past, what's today? Today's Monday, the day that I'm filming. I got it two days ago, so on Saturday, um, I got this laser treatment. And I don't know if you can tell, but my face is a bit redder than the rest of my body. I mean, I'm really pale. So I just, I didn't want you to think that I had lost my mind and put on a super dark foundation. It's just that my my skin is just, um, I don't know, it's like hot and it's a little bit, it's a little bit red and yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever gotten a laser treatment before. I didn't, this was my first time and I didn't realize it was gonna hurt. <laughs> it does, it hurts a little bit. Every time they zap you, it feels like a rubber band kind of snapping on your face. Also, and sorry, last announcement before we get into the video, is next week, uh, Mona and I may be taking a break from this particular series next Tuesday. She is going to be moving um, and is sort of in the midst of setting up her new home, is not sure if she's gonna have internet connection, so we thought, why don't we just take a break next Tuesday? Because I've been traveling a lot too, and it'll be good for me to catch up with some other things. So, without further ado, let's get into my top five favorite powder blushes. So the first one I wanna mention is the Chanel Rose Bronze Blush. This is color number 02, basically. This is just, an oldie but a goodie. I think I purchased this many, many years ago, probably tossed it in one of my moves or just a mood that I was in and just recently repurchased it and I just absolutely love it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it'll be hard to swatch these blushes because they're pretty, they're pretty subtle. But anyway, it has a really pretty satin sheen. It's a really, really pretty kind of pinky rose color. So, I love this if I'm going for kind of like a cooler toned uh, blush. The only downside to Chanel blushes, at least for me, is the, very, is the very heavy fragrance that the Chanel blushes come with. Um, if any of you have ever purchased a Chanel blush, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can smell it before you even open the box. So I kind of let it air out a lot. It comes with a plastic cover. I just take that right off. I kind of leave it open. <laughs> for a bit and just sort of air it out. It does calm down a bit over time, but it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Next up is a relatively uh, new-ish blush to my collection, but I use it nonstop, and that is the Hourglass Brilliant Nude Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush. It's the one in the middle here. I like all three of these, but if I had to choose one, it would definitely be this one in the middle. It um, looks very, very, uh, tan in the pan. That rhymed. It looks very tan in the pan. It looks very beige in the pan, the coloring. Um, but it actually has a very lovely kind of peachy, peachy tone to it. So that's it over here. This is the Chanel Rose Bronze. This is the uh, Brilliant Nude. And if you like a bit of a satiny, sateen sort of finish to your blush, you will really like these Hourglass um, ambient strobe lighting blushes. They have just a lovely finish uh, without, you know, being glittery at all. It's just a really beautiful kind of subtle highlighty effect to the cheeks, which I really enjoy. Uh, next up, we have a Tom Ford blush. Again, I'm sure you guys were waiting for it. My favorite is the Colorway Inhibition. It's a really beautiful peach, kind of leans a little bit warm um, blush. It has just the softest, silkiest, um, texture to it and that's it over here it's super finely milled this blush stays 
on my cheeks all day. When I wear a Tom Ford blush, they don't budge. They're just, they're just on. You definitely, I mean, you can probably tell, but you definitely have to use a bit of a light hand with this blush. I mean, unless you like a strong blush look, um, but it is very, very pigmented and I don't have to use a lot. I dip my brush in very, ever so slightly, um, and I pretty much can use that for both of my cheeks. So on top of it being a great color, a really subtle sort of, you know, demi-matte finish, it's not fully matte. It doesn't, it doesn't look dry or anything, um, but it's not, I wouldn't call it a satin, um, but it just has a really nice sort of sheen to it. It's a very healthy glow. Um, yeah, and it lasts all day. I just, yeah. What can I say? Tom Ford. Just really, really gorgeous. So next up, um, I have some blushes from Surat Beauty, and I know I should pick one, but I kind of use all three of these together. So this is um, something that I've purchased fairly recently. I want to say over the past, maybe earlier this summer. So this is uh, relatively new to my collection, um, but I like kind of using all of these together. I'll either pair two or pair these two or use all three. Um, I, I just, it's the combination is awesome. So this is Coup de Genie, Chalor, and Angelique. These two have a bit of shimmer to them. Chalor is, uh, matte, if you will. So let me swatch these for you. So, sorry, I had to move my swatches over here. So this is Coup de Genie, this is Chalor, and this is Angelique. And if you've been with me for any amount of time, you know how much I love the Surat um, powder products, especially. They're silky, silky smooth. They just, they blend perfectly onto the cheeks. They really just melt into your skin. And the more time you kind of spend buffing them in, like the warmer it gets and it just, it, it literally just sort of melts right into your skin. So I just love them. I love these three. Mona, I'm sorry, I completely cheated. <laughs> By picking these three but I usually I, I do use them all together I don't think I've ever used one kind of on its own so this last blush is a longtime favorite of mine and I actually named it uh, on my blog as one of my favorite blushes for all of 2016 and it is the NARS blush in the colorway madly and I just I love it it's such a lovely nude sorry I don't mean to be uh, flicking you off but it's on my middle finger there it is right there it's just it's absolutely gorgeous if I really don't know what else to put on my face I always reach for this one it um, it's not completely matte but it really does not have the high shine or the shimmer as let's say the the hourglass blush so it really is just a nice sort of middle of the road everyday neutral blush and I feel like it just goes well with everything. It's what I have on my cheeks today and I have a relatively cool eye look and I put the blush on and I feel like it kind of ties it in with this warmer lipstick that I have. So, um, so you know, I kind of like using it as like a balancing act. So those are my top five favorite powder blushes, maybe a little bit more than five, um, but there you have it. Uh, let me know down below in the comment section what your favorite blushes are. I always love to hear from you guys. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.